on Two Minute Tips. How to live in the moment. Step one, breathe. Step two, be. Step three, bored. I am so bored. What's on cable? Today's Two Minute Tips. How to give your life meaning with Jam and Now. The search for life's meaning is fundamental to our existence and something many of us struggle with on a daily basis. Well, not me, I'm a cat. I eat, sleep, drink, and poop, and that's pretty much the meaning of my life. It may not mean much to you, but I find it very satisfying, especially at treat time. And from my perspective, it's always treat time. Existential angst can be particularly strong on Sunday night. Unless there's something good on TV. Then it only hits during the commercial. According to neurologist, psychiatrist, Holocaust survivor, and author of Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl, this weekly sadness is called Sunday Neurosis. The unhappiness felt when there's time to contemplate the emptiness and meaninglessness of one's life. Again, yours, not mine. I'm good. Overcoming Sunday neurosis can be as simple as calling in sick on Monday. And since there's no such thing as Monday neurosis, you're free and clear, at least till Tuesday. Or you could be like me and have a seven day weekend, but that takes a lot of money or caretakers. According to Viktor Frankl, meaning in our life gives it purpose values, a sense of control, and self-worth. And he suggested three ways to find it. First, experience reality by authentic interactions with people and the environment. Okay, maybe not too authentically. Second, giving back to the world through creativity and self-expression, even if the world may not want it. A third way Frankl says we can find meaning in life is to change our attitude when faced with something we cannot change. That's why I'm a fair weather fan. Sorry, Jags. Can't root for losers. That'd be like giving you guys a participation trophy. Frankel notes that since our life changes from day to day, finding the meaning in life is a continual pursuit. In other words, what gives life meaning to a 20-year-old is not the same as what gives life meaning to a 60-year-old. Theoretically. He suggests the meaning of life is to be found not in talk or meditation, but in right action and right conduct. And what that means to me is, starting right now, in order to find meaning in my life, I'm going to eat, sleep, drink, and poop. Not necessarily in that order. Out of my way, everybody. I got to get to the litter box. This has been Two Minute Tips with Jam and Now.